friends it's going to be a, a new set of uh, uh, learnings from a new subject i'm going to handle computer organization and architecture for my next 20 25 sessions hopefully uh, i'm going to take mips as reference uh, so mips architecture with load and store as the fundamental stuff will be uh, handled along with lot of demos and exercise as usual as what i do for other uh, um, subjects so this will help you in understanding what computer architecture is all about what organization is all about what load and store is all about how to follow and understand a microprocessor all these are going to be handled here so stay tuned i'll have about 25 sessions so play believe so it may need about two months time frame to complete this course and this uh, stretch so the agenda for the first four sessions or three sessions i have finalized right now i'll talk about what computer architecture is all about difference between the computer architecture and organization the instruction set architecture isa types instruction set architecture is uh, abbreviated as isa so uh, isa types will also be dealt the first 3 4 sessions we will cover all this and then we will go into the deeper mips stuff which is more interesting and fundamentally that's needed for you to understand anything related to uh, microprocessor let's first start this way uh, when you are asked to uh, write a program for factorial you will just write a code for doing the factorial operation but do you know what happens internally this is more important actually you see the right hand side of the picture you are first given with a specification that it says that you need to write a code for factorial or you need to write a code for uh, uh, some purpose addition of first and numbers something like that that is the specification you get then what will you do you will immediately start writing the code in c or c++ or java or whatever you know and then what happens internally is the equivalent instruction set will be pulled out so for me to perform c equal to a plus b in uh, c programming i need to have the adder um, function there addition function there so how do i do it through instruction set add a comma b comma c will happen so the equivalent instructions should be pulled out first for you to accomplish some task through your code that's that's what we are really seeing here so first set is specification you got the specification and the spec is available to you and you have written the c code or c++ code then you need to pull the equivalent instructions from the available instruction set for the specific processor then the architecture to accomplish that task will be internally finalized for you to go for an addition operation you need to have an adder there and you need to have a couple of registers which can probably send the input to the adder and output has to be stored again into a register so this architecture has to be finalized then comes the digital electronics part how do we build the adder we need an and gate we need an or gate we need an xor gate what is that needed there so i need to really go with understanding how do i get the sum and carry out of the adder and that part comes with electronics and when you go deeper into it it is at a transistor level as in how do you build the electronic components i have a gate but how do i build it i need to go with the fundamentals of it and that's very important so we need to understand that and then further level is much more important which is nothing but your physics and chemistry which talks about how do you make the transistor do we need silica do we need some other chemical so it talks about bringing up a transistor now we have seen from the top to bottom approach now if you see from the bottom to top approach you need sand silica which helps you in making transistors with few other chemicals physics chemistry comes over there then you uh, get the transistor you make a digital component which means the electronic component like a gate and then the gate will help you in realizing the architecture with the logic and then you write the code for it to be appropriately invoked and finally that meets your specification isn't it beautiful so this is how the computer is all about this is how the computer is working fine all these days so this is very important for us to understand that there are a, there are lot many stuff that goes really inside deeper to get a simple instruction executor and that's what is going to be computer architecture and organization so to you to understand what is the logic how is the logic chosen we need computer architecture yes that's that's what is all about computer architecture and organization and we talk about two terms here one is architecture and another one is organization what is architecture all about what is organization all about this is very very important and yeah we need to go deeper into it architecture will always be concerned with what to do organization will think about how to do it architecture will tell you what to do whereas organization will tell you how to do so this is pretty important for us to understand 
so architecture will tell you what to do and organization will tell you how to do as i told you so architecture is always connected to the design and organization is always connected to the building process architecture will design organization will implement that's, that's how we can easily uh, understand it architecture will carry out all sort of analysis and it will zero in what are all the types of instructions what are all the addressing modes that we can use what are all the registers that are available this kind of high level design would be taken care of by architecture whereas organization will help you in implementing all this so computer architecture carries a higher precedence it it carries little more respect than computer organization because only after you design you can implement so the design phase is all about architecture and the implementation phase is all about organization so one can connect it one can connect the architecture as simple as a high level design so a, a simple example will help you guys in understanding this better i am going to build a calculator and if we are going to give support for division modulo operation etc is decided and this decision making is called as architecture whereas when we implement it appropriately that comes as organization so all the features which a computer has all the features which a processor will have will be decided during the architectural analysis and organization is the next phase to the architecture or you can say this way very simply organization is 500% dependent on the architectural decisions now i have taken a calculator example sometime back and i told you that the decision to support a division will be decided in the architectural phase yes we support division operation now how do we support division are we going to keep a direct div instruction or we are going to have multiple levels of subtraction to implement division will be decided in organization phase based on the requirements and based on the facilities available to you so the decision to go with repeated subtraction or otherwise will be decided with organization so architecture will tell you what to do division for example organization will tell you how to do the same division can be done easily through a simple div instruction or repeated subtraction that's it this organization and architecture when you talk about there are a lot of uh, new topics which could come out in picture a lot of new terms which could come out in picture i am going to cover all those shortly but before we go to the next level it's obvious that we need to understand the comparisons better so computer architecture versus organization let's let's just understand five differences quickly high level design and feature description architecture realization of high level design through implementation organization i design i implement connected to the instruction set support for the data types memory cons- memory considerations etc more uh, from the implementation aspect is given importance which means circuit components what are all the components that i need to select what are all the electronic components that i need to select how do i select the peripherals how do i select or how do we implement the alu operation all these will be taken care of in organization the logic will be given more importance in computer architecture implementation of that logic will be given more importance in organization what to do the burning question how to do again the burning question here in organization side i have already given you an example of multiplication i mean division earlier now it is multiplication i am going to support multiplication how am i going to do it 8085 does not have support for multiplication we need to do it through repeated addition that's an organization feature but they decided to support multiplication but only through a repeated addition simple let's understand this and we can conclude this session in this way we have architecture to add two numbers i have an 8 bit data 8 bit data adder will be there result will be there this is the architecture they tell that you need to add a content now organization register r1 has got 8 bit content register r2 has got another 8 bit content i am going in depth little more i have an 8 bit data bus i have another 8 bit data bus i have an 8 bit adder the result comes out sum is stored in another register carry is stored in another register and there is a control signal to control overall our operations this is organization for you and i hope i have given you the introduction about what organization and architecture is all about i'll come back to you with more contents in my next session shortly thank you very much for following my channel if you have any particular queries or if you have any comments please type it in the comment section i'll be able to respond you to your queries shortly
Thank you very much.